Our topic today is your purpose is bigger than you. Your purpose in life is bigger than you. There is no purpose in going through the motions mildly disinterested or doing nothing special or significant. Doing or saying something because you have to, not because you want to. No genuine interest or belief in its importance. Your purpose in life is bigger than experiencing no meaningful growth and no virality. You are not here for your self-interest, but to positively impact others and your world. The greater cause and the bigger purpose in the life of Jesus Christ was to give his followers an abundant life from God. Have you ever considered why you were born and the reason you entered this world? You were born for a purpose. You are important. But your purpose is more important than you. Who, me? Yes, you. Have you considered that as a believer in God and a follower of Jesus Christ, your words and deeds can show others how God thinks about things and how God expects people to live life? You are essential to your purpose. Your purpose is bigger than you. In Philippians chapter 1, verse 21, Paul the Apostle says, Christ is my life. That life becomes a simple manifestation of His presence. Paul says, I live, yet not I, but Christ lives in me. That is the bigger cause for Him. Jesus Christ had a purpose in coming down from heaven to do the will of the Father, to save sinners, to bring light to a dark world. In the eyes of the infants, mothers find their purpose. Some people are born to serve poor people. Mother Teresa was such a person. Paul the Apostle had a purpose, to preach the gospel despite opposition, persecution and imprisonment. Now we have a special request of you. Please subscribe to our channel. Just press the subscribe button on the screen and please like and share our video with your contacts. Thank you. For those who believe in God and follow Jesus Christ, Christ makes his home in your hearts as you trust in him. Your roots will grow down into God's love and keep you strong. It's in your heart that God plants the seed of who you were born to be and become. When you grasp that identity, growth arrives. You'll know it in the center of your being, your mind, emotions and will. You don't have to give up your job, abandon your education, or role as a breadwinner, parents or active citizen in your community. God plants purpose and passion within us, much like a seed that grows and bears fruit. There is a divine connection between our hearts, God's love and the unique purpose we were born to fulfill. Trust God. He will gently lead you to the bigger purpose you came into this world to carry out, to finish and succeed. For a believer in God, and a follower of Jesus Christ, the voice of the Holy Spirit within you will whisper the right way, the right decision and choice. Reading the Bible is also a compass directing you to purpose in your life. Someone once said, the two most important days in life are the day you were born and the day you find out why. When your heart is committed, you will strive for meaning and purpose. Then. Pursuing your aspirations, goals and ambition comes with the strength of Christ to bear your burdens and overcome the setbacks because of the greater one within you. The strength and grace of Christ Jesus is sufficient for you. He is busy shaping you for the bigger purpose in your life. Think about this as an example of your purpose being bigger than you. God may have put you on this earth to advise or warn someone or people at the perfect times. Giving wise and helpful words that make a positive difference and meaning in that person or the lives of those people. And you do so quietly in one-on-one -on -one situations or in a group. You might have been born for that purpose, to motivate, encourage people to reach their purpose in life and overcome hurdles. And when you do this, you do not expect financial gain or recognition. How's that? For a purpose that is bigger than you. So your purpose goes beyond career 
or financial success. Life's purpose for an individual embraces and covers relationships, personal growth and contribution to fellow believers and society in general. Your purpose in life might be different to mine. If you haven't identified your purpose in life, do some self-reflection. What are your values? What are your passions? What impact and influence do you want to have on your world? Do you have meaningful relationships in and beyond your family? Are you learning and growing your knowledge, wisdom and understanding, especially from the Bible? Have you ever taken a risk? What were the circumstances? What did you learn from that outcome, especially the effort, sacrifice and persistence involved? Your purpose is bigger than you. Your purpose contains your true identity. As Christians, our core identity is found in Jesus himself. We are no longer separated from God, but intimately joined with Christ through his indwelling spirit. 1 Corinthians chapter 6, verse 17. Jesus knew his identity. He said, I am the bread of life. I am the light of the world. I am the good shepherd. I am the way, the truth, and the life. Know who you are in God. Remember who you are. Bigger than you is your purpose, but is your purpose that defines your identity. I am fearfully and wonderfully made, Psalm 139, verse 14. I am a new creation in Christ, 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 17. I am more than a conqueror through him who loved me. Romans chapter 8, verse 37. I am chosen, holy and dearly loved. Colossians chapter 3, verse 12. I am God's workmanship. Ephesians chapter 2, verse 10. I must be who I was born to be. The purpose for which I am alive is bigger than me. If you do not believe in Jesus Christ, we invite you to receive him as your Lord and Saviour. Just say the simple prayer to receive him and follow him. Heavenly Father, I come to you in the name of Jesus Christ. Please forgive me for my sin and accept me into your kingdom. I want to follow Jesus Christ from this day. Give me faith to believe in him and courage to confess him as my Lord and Savior. I ask and pray this in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. We say welcome. Perhaps there was a time when you were a follower of Jesus Christ. Over time, you have grown cold and distant and have separated yourself from the Christian faith and from Jesus. We invite you to come back to the Lord Jesus Christ. Just pray the simple prayer. Father God, in the name of Jesus Christ, forgive me. Let your love reach out to me and restore me to the family of God in Christ Jesus. I rededicate my life to you. In the name of your Son, Jesus, and I say Amen. Here's looking forward to being in your company again next week. Until then, love and blessings from all of us at Joel's Place at Oasis Auckland.